Betting on Cleveland. The excitement surrounding Cleveland's new casino has thousands of people in downtown Cleveland, as you can see. But not everyone is getting inside. Tonight, there are still long lines outside the Horseshoe Casino. People are waiting a very long time to try and get in. Now, the casino can hold about 12,000 people, but right now they're keeping capacity at 5,000, making for long lines outside the casino, where News Channel 5's Paul Kiska is tonight. Paul, we knew there'd be long lines last night for the grand opening, but that really didn't let up today. No, not a little bit. Uh, right now, the lines are still there, not as bad as this morning. Now, when I got here at 10 o'clock this morning, though, there was a brief time there. You could actually walk right through the front door, get right into the casino. By 11 a.m., the place was packed. Lines wrapped around the building. Talk about a full house. I came down here last night, drove around, looked at the line a little bit, but... I didn't want to stand in it, so I came down here this morning. I didn't see a line, so I'm on my way in now. Martina Jackson is one of the lucky ones, if only because of good timing. She walked right into the casino around 10:30 this morning. By 11 a.m., all four entrances were jammed. The lines were long, wrapped around the building. Once inside Tower City, the lines were still long. Some casino goers said wait times were up to two hours by noon. While many expected a full house on opening day. Some became frustrated. They said it's going to be at least two hours to get in. So we're going to come back in the morning, and they told me there's no lines. I've been standing here getting tired, waiting. I didn't think it'd be a line this morning. Otherwise, we would have come in three o'clock in the morning. I think it's ridiculous. You know, I had thoughts about coming down here this morning about seven or eight o'clock. And then a friend of mine told me it was already a line wrapped around the building at that time. So I'm like, well, what time is a good time? You know? I want to try my luck. I want to win, hopefully, that jackpot. The casino official said Friday the casino has 5,000 gaming seats, but room for 12,000 people. But today, as people showed up in droves, the crowd inside was limited to 5,000. So new casino workers were not overwhelmed. There's about 5,000 gaming positions inside, and uh, we'll probably just kind of play with the, the levels a little bit these first few days to make sure that it's a good experience for everyone. Many people say all of this action, the hustle and bustle in Public Square, is a welcome sight. They get to meet new people and business, businesses can expand. So how was business away from the casino? We ventured out a block or two around here. We'll have that story coming up at 6 here on News Channel 5. Live downtown, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. So, Paul, you, you talked to a couple of people who were frustrated by the wait, but you were telling me a little earlier that most people seem to take it pretty much in stride. Yeah, Lynn, I think the opening day, expect long lines, and it never really got hot today. There was a nice breeze, but at one point, the lines wrapped completely around uh, the Horseshoe Casino, and the people almost started to crisscross each other <laughs> waiting in line. Oh, like a new ride at Cedar Point. <laughs> <laughs> right. It is. All right, Paul, thanks very much. When the casino opened, the excitement wasn't just inside. This is the show people saw outside, a 3-D light show projected on the Higby building. And you still have time to see it tonight. The Horseshoe Casino tweeted they will replay that show at 845 and 1030 tonight and tomorrow night. And we also learned there was a big winner last night. Someone took home $50,000. Not bad. News Channel 5 and NewsNet5.com, your place for casino coverage. We've worked hard and dedicated a number of resources to bring you the most in-depth coverage of the casino and the impact it's expected to have in our community. It's a story we'll continue following for you on NewsNet5.com.